Okay, I finally got V12.3.4. Took a long time coming. And I'm about to take a drive with this thing. Uh, so far, this thing uh, appears to be by far the best it's ever been. So let's take a drive and see what happens. Of course we have to start off with the obligatory wiping the dry windshield of the car when there's no rain. What I'm going to do on this one is this is around the local area uh, where I live. And here, I want you to look at this. For the first time in a long time, this thing is actually driving on the right-hand side of the road. In the past, when we've had uh, roads with no markings for the center line, it would drive much more towards the center of the road, which seemed to upset other drivers something fierce, and it upset me too. Uh, I kind of got away from doing videos on the full self-driving because it didn't seem like there was any real gains and uh, a lot of times it was worse than it was before. This one I think is entirely different. Uh, this is very impressive. I think they finally got this right. It's smooth. It works like uh, it should work. And the silly thing learns. I've never seen this before. But uh, I'll show you in this video where I believe this thing actually learned from its mistakes and did better the next time. This test is going to be uh, near my home. There is a, uh, an intersection, a uh, three-way intersection, and you cannot make a left turn from the main street. If you try to make a left turn, there's blocks in the way, the, the uh, local uh, authorities decided uh, they didn't want anybody making left turns in or out of this uh, road. And so they blocked everything off and FSD has never ever been able to deal with it. It just it gets tangled up in the middle of it, it tries to run over the, the uh, uh, center line blocks and uh, it's just kind of a zoo. It does not work properly at all. This time we're going to see something entirely different. Now we're coming up to this intersection. We're going to make a left here onto this main road. Now here you can see it turned into the uh, turn lane here, which is going to go away right quick. And so it finally figured that out and it moved over. It slowed down some because it can't figure out what's going on. Notice to the left there, there's a road coming at a sharp angle to this, uh, this road here. That's the one I want to turn left on but it's blocked by those center posts and uh, there's no way to make a left turn here. So it's a bit confused here and can't figure out what to do. It's down to 22 miles an hour but it's kind of figured this out. It says okay I can't go there so it continues on down the road. Now it still wants to go onto that other road is there going to be a way for this to happen? So I, I just let the thing go ahead and do what it was doing and see what was going to happen. Now up here, pretty close, we're going to come up to another road and let's see what happens when it comes up to this road.
Okay, right there. It's slowing down. It's going to make a turn. Now, this is a cul-de-sac, so it doesn't go any place. And it starts going through here, and it's a little unsure of what's going to happen. But it finally recognizes it's a cul-de-sac, pulls over to the right, and makes a U-turn. Okay, it completes the U-turn. Now it's in a position to go ahead and get back to where it can go on that road. So let's, uh, let's watch it do it. Now here we're coming up on that sharp right turn. And it's going to go through this turn. It, it's done this turn before uh, pretty normally, but it's doing it uh, very smoothly, just like it should be doing it. And we're off and going. So it figured out a way to uh, get around that problem and continue on its way and get where it needed to go. Now this is kind of interesting because I tried this a second time and I'm going to go to the second time and we'll look at how this thing performed in the exact same situation on another drive. Now here we are coming up to the intersection with the main road up here. We're going to make a left up here and we'll come into that same situation as we had before and let's see how the car does it this time. Now it's going through and instead of going into that center lane it immediately went into the right lane the travel the through tra lane and the speed is at 35 miles an hour it never dropped down before it dropped down to 22 miles an hour to come through this to try to figure out what was going on but it stayed up at 35 now now here we're coming up to that same road with the cul-de-sac and it's going to make a left in there. Now there's a little bit of difference here when I come in this time. Notice on the left, there's a car there. That car wasn't there before, so that's made it a little tighter on this turn. And it was a little more hesitant than it was before. But it did figure it out, and it made the turn normally, and came out back out on the road. Now you can argue whether it was the best decision to use a cul-de-sac as a turnaround. Uh, that may not have been the best decision in the world. Uh, perhaps it would have been better to have turned into some sort of parking lot. If you look up here, uh, there's actually a parking lot right there, which probably would have been a better decision. However, it did make, you know, it made the decision and it learned from its first try at this and actually fixed it. So, hooray for uh, FSD. And that's, uh, that's it on this one. Uh, I think FSD has finally become real live FSD.